Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. I'm Evan Facinger, and today I'm gonna to show you how you can save a lot of time in Amazon advertising by taking advantage of bulk operations. So when you're running a large campaign or multiple ad accounts at the same time, you can find yourself spending a lot more time than you should, clicking between different screens, doing repetitive adjustments over and over. And bulk operations is the perfect solution for you if you find yourself in that scenario. With bulk operations, you can quickly adjust bids, add or remove keywords, create new campaigns, almost everything that you need to optimize your campaigns. It also backs up your entire ad account and lets you work offline. So let's get started. The first step is to enable bulk operations. So log into your Seller Central or AMS account if you sell through Vendor Central. And in Seller Central, go to the Advertising menu and click on Campaign Manager. Then choose Bulk Operations from the menu. If you have a brand new account without any existing data, you can download the Bulk Operations template. This template will provide you with instructions and multiple tabs, including templates for ad types and portfolios, as well as samples and attribute definitions. Keep in mind that each marketplace has a different template. If you're already running campaigns, then you can download the bulk operation spreadsheet with your campaigns, ad groups, and keyword data already populated. When downloading the bulk operation spreadsheet, you have a few different options. You can select the date range. This will change the data in your read only columns. They're populated with performance data like impressions, clicks, spends, orders, sales, and even a cost percentage. You can use these as a reference to make adjustments, but make sure you're going back long enough for the data to be actionable. Typically, we go with the 60 day date range. You wouldn't want to make adjustments on bids with only a few days worth of data. We recommend uh, also excluding certain aspects from your spreadsheet. So for example, you can exclude terminated campaigns, campaigns with zero impressions, placement data for campaigns, and brand assets data. We recommend only uh, we recommend excluding terminated campaigns and brand asset data but keeping campaigns with zero impressions one thing to consider is that if a campaign is running but not receiving impressions then some optimization is required also keep in mind that if you've recently made changes to your amazon advertising account it can take a few minutes for it to be reflected on your bulk operation spreadsheet so once you do make those changes make sure that they're present on that spreadsheet when you download it. Otherwise, when you upload the spreadsheet back to Amazon advertising campaigns, it's going to override that data. So once you have your selections made, click the Create Spreadsheet for Download button. This could take a few minutes, but once it's ready, it's gonna be at the top of your downloads table with a download link. So now that you have your bulk operation spreadsheet, there's a few important things to remember. You can make a lot of changes to your spreadsheet, but you do not want to change anything on the first row. This is your header row, and you should not make any changes to your record ID column. Changing this record ID column will produce an error and removing it will tell Amazon to create a new record and duplicate it. So now let's dive into some of the fun things that you can do with your actual spreadsheet. You can go through your spreadsheet and make manual bid adjustments to all of your keywords much faster than using Amazon's advertising interface. Even faster is if you're using a formula to calculate the bid adjustments, you can run it automatically on your Excel spreadsheet. Just create an extra column go through, put in the formula, and then rename that column to be max bid before you upload it. Once you do that, that'll tell Amazon that that's your new bid and will make all your adjustments for you in all of your campaigns. You can also combine all of this data with your Amazon search term report to find both negative and profitable keywords to add. 
So look through your search term report to find terms with the high spend or clicks with no conversions or high impressions without clicks and add them to your bulk operations spreadsheet as negative terms. You can also add profitable keywords by looking at that same search term report for high converting search terms and add them as exact terms. The key is to really think about what you would normally do inside of your Amazon advertising campaign and replicate it or improve the process with the spreadsheet and spreadsheet functionality. In my experience, taking advantage of functions and speed of adjustments can save you days worth of time when you're managing Amazon advertising campaigns. Once you've finished making all the changes to your spreadsheet, simply go back to your Amazon advertising account, click bulk operations, go to the third step and upload that file. That's going to put forth all of the changes that you made on your spreadsheet, implement them into all their individual Amazon ad groups and campaigns, and you can start to see those changes very quickly after that. So that's it. If you have any questions or if you want to add any fun things that you're doing with bulk operations for Amazon advertising, leave a comment below and we can chat.